All right, guys, started playing some Riff in top lane, but today we're going to play with the Lethality build. And we're going to be looking into, well, killing enemies with like one combo only. It's going to be a lot of fun. A sword also, we're playing against the Orn matchup. Not really a super fun matchup. I've seen so many Orn players at this point. It's actually quite a joke, but it is what it is. Now what we have here is pretty simple. We got the Conquer page. This game, I play with Transcendence and Gathering because um, having like Transcendence in the Orn matchup definitely pays off because you can use your combos more frequently. You can trade a lot more. Uh, you don't need to have like Resolve in this, in this matchup to like pop off against them. Just having more combos, also scaling from Gathering Storm. It's going to be fine. <clears throat> Squeeze the wave. Uh, this guy actually plays the war down. That's okay, though. My jungle's not even here anyway. Got the bone plate. So yeah, early game, it's more or less just farming up. Um, once we get to level 3... Um, we will start like short trading a lot more, but it's still lots of farming involved. If we can get him like below a certain amount of health, we will all in. So we're just gonna short trade for a while. Like the shorter the trades are, the better. Unless of you, of course, you can get the stun off on him. You can actually pull out another Q, but you gotta be very careful with it. Mm. Just gonna go for that one. He hit the W, but that's alright. I got a better trade-off. Hmm. Decent. Decent. I'm not gonna lie. He got a decent trade-off. There's no jungle up here, so we can probably maybe get a kill on him. Um, I believe that Zed is going to the bottom jungle. So I don't have to place Wart Sun either. <clears throat> hmm. You know what's the unfortunate thing about Orn? Uh, you know what scares me off the most? Is when you're like playing as an Orn. And they play too passive. That's on, that's my only worry when I play against own players. Because some of them play really aggro. That's really nice to play against. Because that gives you a lot of outplay potential. Um, but some own players like this one. He's just standing really far away to the point I can't even reach him. Or when I can reach him, I would have to use all my combos for it. So it's really hard to kill Orn right now. Even if I get a jungle camp like uh, like this one. It still doesn't work very well. He's just standing too far away. Yeah, like, I appreciate the gang from Diana, but unfortunately, it just doesn't work. Because they're almost staying way too far away. What conflict awaits? Good sign. The wave is like freezing up my tower. I got my long swords. I can probably get a kill on them now. Wow. Oh, too bad for him. And he's up. He's got no mana. He's got nothing. <laughs> oh man, he made a mistake. Oh man, I feel bad for him. Like, he uh, tried chopping the wave, which is perfectly understandable. That's what I would definitely do myself too, to be honest. Um, but he accidentally took a tower hit. And that tower hit was just enough for me to actually kill him. After chasing him down. That was honestly pretty nice. Like, that actually makes... That makes my lane pretty good now. So, after all, despite, like, Diana's getting now working, we got the, to shove the wave, and... Just by backing, we got this instead. Like, that's really nice. How should I <clears throat> uh, quick question. Hey, do you think it's ever worth going Time Warp Tonic over Cosmic Inside on Aurelia? Um, well, surely it is. So They're both pretty good. Uh, when I play Aurelia, though... 
I like to play her mostly either with Biscuits and Time Warp or just take in Magical with uh, Biscuits. That's currently my setup. Otherwise, I go Cosmic in a few cases. Not every single one of them currently. It's a bit situational. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. Are you sure about building towards lethality, Dave? Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure about it, this game. You want to know why? It's like, Orn is not what I'm scared of. Um, I'm actually thinking about deleting Zed, really and Kalista using lethality. So I'm not too worried. I think it's going to be an awesome game uh, when I build lethality. Maybe not for Orn, but for the whole enemy team. It's not that bad. Like, don't get me wrong. We're still building towards Gorchanker. Like, that item is the core item. Um, that item alone is going to make me win lane pretty hard. So I'm not too worried. That's the bone plate. Yeah, like I said earlier, for the majority of the lane phase, I'm probably going to be farming more than just trading him because it's an orb. If that makes sense. Like just Orn in general is just not really uh, rewarding to play against. This guy would just perma farm like crazy. Oh, my jump failed. What conflict awaits? I think he knows. Personally, I think if I if I managed to make the third Q, I think it could have killed them, to be honest, because uh, Zed used all of his abilities to get the camp, including his energy as well. So I think I could have actually had a kill right there. All right, cool. Now we can go back. Uh, before I do, I'm just gonna take the risk. Orn is back into base. I'm not worried about him. Um, but Zed is missing currently. There we go. And the only problem now is that Orn has like more of an item adventure than I do. So we're gonna have to find out how we get to play this lane phase. But we got the play. That's pretty nice. Let's see if I can farm up this one. Got that one too. We've got some vision in the river right now, so if Orn decides to roam, we have the, the vision needed. Yeah, like I said, he's showing up on the vision now. Now we can shove the wave uh, before he shows up. And now we go back to base. We're going to be building loose city boots and I'll get my iron spike. Hi, just finished learning your combos videos for, for event. Thanks for the content. Hey, no problem, man. I'm glad I can help. Um, are you going to TwitchCon in Amsterdam? Unfortunately, no. I don't. I was considering it a couple times. Uh, but I'm not going. I have, like, so many things to do, guys. You have, like, no idea. Every single day that, uh, uh that, that passes, like, I have things to do. I start from, like, 8 a.m., 9 a.m., and I'm doing my stuff all the way until, like, 5 a.m., uh, 5 p.m., I mean. Uh, doing like YouTube vids, streaming, all the stuff behind the scenes, editing vids. I'm currently going through a lot of things, so. 
choose your own path. There's like not a single day wasted currently. Nice try. I'm getting very close to my gore drinker now. I just need a bit more. Perfect. Let's go for the jungle camp here. So now we're going to be like farming between like two lanes. I mean, uh, two turrets. Then take the wave again. I need like 200 more for my Gore Chinker. So once I have that, we can start snowballing the game. Perfect. Alright, let's go back. I'm gonna go for uh, Gorchanker, and I think I'm just gonna run straight mid lane and see if I can actually get something done. I don't want to like um, commit myself to only fighting Orn. I want to try to avoid Orn as much as I can because he's like really hard to beat. <laughs> I like how I'm saying it because like said Giovanni actually one v one Orn. I don't know how, but sure. <laughs> If I try and fight Ore, like, he's super unkillable. Yeah, sure. If he walks up to me, I can actually get the ray kills. Is he expired? Nice. Triple. So yeah, like I said, we are not gonna like 1v1 Orn all day. That's what we're trying to avoid. It's completely pointless for me to like try and 1v1 on Orn. Because it's so unlikely we're going to kill him. Especially if he plays it just too safe. So yeah, our top priority uh, is like within... Roaming top and I mean roaming mid and ball lane, palming up as much as we can as well. All that stuff. Let's go roast split. And take two long swords for the lethality. So we're building ghost blade. And then we're building Edge of the Night. And then after Edge of the Night, it's going to become a bit more situational. But ultimately, like, that's going to be the core build. Uh, quick question. Does Davy have Facebook? Oh, man. I knew that question was coming someday. No, I don't. I used to have Facebook, like... Years, years and years ago, but no longer, no. I removed my Facebook. Like, I remember I used to have Facebook uh, back in school, and, like, everyone was, like, showing off how many friends they had in their page and showing off their lives with pictures and how good their life is and stuff like that. And I never really cared about that at all. I've never done... I've never, like, scrolled in Facebook before to check on people, their lives, and stuff like that. I never cared about show showing off how many friends I had in Facebook. I never cared about any of that stuff. So, yeah, I decided to remove it. I haven't used Facebook. I don't even have my Facebook installed on my phone anymore for, like, I think four years. It's been a really long time, actually. My uh, Facebook page is like completely gone. It's <laughs> you can't recognize me at all. Picture, everything, everything is gone. Even changed the name. So I didn't remove it, but I just changed it so much that like I don't even recognize it myself anymore. <laughs> Hmm, 
they're trying to play the roaming game similar to what I'm doing, actually. And I think I might be able to get kills here. Maybe. I think they... Wait. Hey, it's going back. I can't go there. Like, it's, it's no point. Uh, by the time I show up, he's already back into base. Probably warts in here, I, I suppose. Ah. Ah, man. Ah. <laughs> yeah, like to this day, uh, I I keep saying it for a decade at this point. But like playing against an AD carry that plays with exhaust is just a nasty pick. It's a nasty counter pick. I don't know if I I I don't know if I ever agree with the fact that exhaust exists on ADCs. Like, as for my position right now, in terms of how fed I am, in terms of everything, I should be able to die for an AD carry who's standing 0-3. Without any items at all. I should be able to. Regardless of what happens. Whether he flashes or, or anything at all. But if AD carries play with exhaust. Even if they have zero items. They're like five levels behind. Like they exhaust you. You can't dive them anymore. Like your damage is just, just gone. I don't like that part. <laughs> I don't like the existence of this summoner spell man. Too bad for him. Oh. I didn't hit my stun for some reason. I suppose it was just too far away. Nice. I'll get the next wave. Uh, can you play with Jace? Well, I think you guys know me at this point. Um, I play pretty much 90% of top lane. But if there's one champ I currently don't play, and I, I'm honestly quite sad about it, it's Jace. And it's not because I can't play him or anything like that. Not really. Jace is actually a good champ. Um... But the reason I don't play him is because he's just underrated. Super underrated. Like, if I make a video for him or I play him... He's just so underrated. No one cares about Jace. It's kind of sad, actually. Oh, man. I didn't even get to complete my third item, man. But anyway, I love the, uh, the little tempo build from Rhythm. Like, if you're looking to snowball gains 1v9, like Ghostblade and Gore Trinker, and then eventually into Edge of the Night, like, that's one of the best lethality setups. You can delete people so hard with it. Like, I definitely encourage you guys, if you haven't tried it, just, just give it a try. But uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching today's YouTube video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.